What's up guys, Sean here doing a video in conjunction with the David Horowitz Freedom Center and StopK12Indoctrination.org, and today we're going to discuss students being asked to rank potential survivors of the apocalypse based on race, political views, and sexual orientation. 7th and 8th graders at Roberts Middle School in Ohio were given an assignment labeled whom to leave behind. The assignment puts forward a scenario where it's the end of the world, there are 12 people and only 8 slots on a space shuttle to safety, and the students are asked to determine whom to leave behind. Now typically these types of exercises are meant to promote critical thinking as it places students in charge of who or what skills you want to bring in order to restart the human species. However, while on the surface this assignment seems like a philosophical one, a critical thinking one, it turns out that it was just another case of progressive indoctrination in our public schools. The character descriptions of the potential survivors were as follows. A racist police officer with a history of excessive force complaints, a militant African American American medical student, a 33-year-old Native American woman that doesn't speak any English, a Hispanic clergyman who preaches against homosexuality, a 21-year-old Muslim international student, a homosexual professional athlete, and a Jewish 60-year-old who is an administrator at a local university. Students were asked to use these descriptors to determine who is worthy of surviving the pending apocalypse, which struck parents as really odd as they were essentially being assigned work where they had to rank people on their political views their racial or ethnic origin, and their sexuality. However, when you realize that this assignment was developed by the Center for Diversity and Inclusion at the University in Houston in order to determine the student's level of unconscious bias, things tend to make a lot more sense. In fact, this assignment was considered an icebreaker in order to help introduce middle school students to diversity awareness and social justice. Now the science behind unconscious bias training has never stood up to scrutiny. Experiments intending to quantify this unconscious bias are rarely repeatable, but unconscious bias is a major component in radical progressive ideology. The idea that America is a white supremacist nation, the idea that all minority groups are oppressed by white people in America, this is all a major component of left-wing political theory. And the absurd thing about this assignment is, is that the last thing that we should be thinking about in a potential end of the world scenario is race, sexual orientation, and political views. Assignments like this typically show how relevant those characteristics are because when the survival of the human race is on the line, the focus should be on skills and the ability to reproduce. But since this assignment is not about critical thinking and it's about introducing intersectional theory to our students, they've basically done a complete 180 on what this assignment should be. We have to fight back against assignments like this. This was not the first time that this was used in the classroom in this particular school, and it's been used in multiple schools across the country. That's why I encourage you guys to visit Stop K-12 through Indoctrination, read over the Code of Ethics, see if it's something you can get behind, and then get behind it. There you can also learn about other cases of K-12 through Indoctrination and report cases in your own school district. This has been Sean Fitzgerald for the David Horowitz Freedom Center. Till next time.